before the bullets flew, before the stampede to escape, Holden Hara remembers it all. The shooter strolling into the borderline bar and grill, reaching into his pockets as if to pay the cover charge. Saw the man pull out his gun and start shooting. I saw the flash of the gun. Then chaos. Hara and some of his friends managed to crawl out a back door. I'm very lucky to be on my feet and you know, for the people that didn't make it out tonight, it sucks because they didn't deserve it. Innocent lives were taken tonight. Jason Kaufman tracked his son Cody's cell phone to the bar, but the signal wasn't moving. Later at the hospital, he learned why. My firstborn son. Only him and I know how much I love, how much I miss. Oh, God, this is so hard. Oh, son, I love you so much. This morning, a motorcade for a police officer killed as he rushed in to confront the gunman. As I told his wife, he died a hero because he went, he, he went in to save lives, to save other people. A sign of just how often these horrors are happening in America these days. For some survivors, this wasn't their first mass shooting. Unfortunately, it's the second time in about a year and a month that this has happened. Uh, I was at the Las Vegas Route 91 mass shooting. Which is why Grace Fisher drove down to the scene with her well-worn sign. Fisher pulls it out to lobby for gun control after every mass shooting. This one, so close to home. That's why I came out of here today. Anytime this happens, we have to stand up and we have to say, this is not okay. Something needs to change immediately. Hara's mom is calling. She wants him home. On his hand, you can see an X stamped by the bouncer to show he's underage. Hara says he won't wash it off, a tribute to his dead friends. He knows the mark will fade, but the horrific memories of last night will be with him, he says, always. Kim Bruggeber, CBC News, Thousand Oaks, California. We do know the gunman, Ian David Long, was a military veteran, possibly suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, and he had had contact with local police. But as for a motive, that is still unclear. It would be premature for me to speculate on the motivation, but I can assure you that we will follow all the leads that are developed through witness interviews, uh, evidence recovery, um, the forensic evidence, um, any digital media that we recover, and uh, we will be sure to uh, paint a picture of the state of mind of the subject and uh, do our best to identify a motivation. Investigators hope for some insight from Long's house where the 28-year-old lived with his mother. But here's a little more on his military background. Records show Long was an active duty Marine between 2008 to 2013. He was deployed to Afghanistan in 2010 and served as a machine gunner. Long was in action in Helmand province during one of the most violent periods of the Afghan conflict. He left the Marines in 2013 with the rank of corporal. One friend described him as funny but with a tendency to get dark at times. Neighbors have said his mother was increasingly worried about his mental state. We have reported on many mass shootings in the United States and as Kim said, one of last night's survivors has been through this before. A grim coincidence that, that warrants another look. It's the second time in about a year and a month that this has happened. Uh, I was at the Las Vegas Route 91 mass shooting, uh, as well as probably 50 or 60 others who are in the building at the same time as me tonight. And so that young man had planned to hold a memorial for the Vegas massacre at the Borderline Bar and Grill. This was the fourth mass shooting in the United States this year in which at least 10 people died.